Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> uh oh. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, Aldi's done it again. This is Aldi's dupe to the Dyson Stick vacuum. Here is my Dyson. As you can see, it's a little beat up, but it's just loved. But this baby, when I first bought it, when it first came out, was $399. Do you smoke? Aldi said, wait a second, we can have the same vacuum for $89.99. For the dupe, a stick vacuum, it is also a chargeable vacuum that is wireless. I think we're comparing apples to apples here. I did take the dupe out to charge it, so they're both fully charged. And it's a little difficult to show you here, but you can use it as the long stick vac, or you can use it as the little handheld, which that's why I love it because if I'm just trying to pick up stuff like on a table or dusting then I use just the one small handheld piece this piece here $89 yes ma'am and I think they came in two colors black and white so here you're gonna see all of the attachments that come with it you're gonna get the wall bracket which Dyson brings a wall bracket for charging you're gonna get the long nozzle you're gonna get the large brush nozzle you'll get the nozzle holder you're gonna get a small brush nozzle and of course the floor nozzle here the exact pieces you're getting with your Dyson if you think that you found a store who can do dupes and knockoffs better than Aldi we're about to bet some money because there's not a company that does it better you'll see when I show you this guy when I went to Aldi to pick this guy up, I could not find him anywhere in the store. You might not be able to find them. So good luck. If you find one, let me know in the comments down below. But when I went to go pick this guy up, I couldn't find him in the store. I had to ask the nice gentleman, hey dude, I asked him the stick vacuums. And he said to me, the Dyson? <laughs> Yes, he did. Like the employees know. The employees know. I wonder it's part of their meetings. Like, hey guys, we got a Dyson dupe this week. He referred to it as the Dyson. I didn't want to because I was like, it might not be a dupe of the Dyson, but oh no, the employee said. I was like, yes, ma'am. That's the one. <laughs> there was one left and somebody had tucked it behind. Oh, I said, that's mine. Give me that. $89. We're about to fist fight right here. There's nobody there but me, but <laughs> we'd have been fist fighting for sure, for sure. So this is the Dyson for reference. You guys ready? Ready? Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. I don't know how they're allowed to do it, but thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, go. Boom. <laughs> wow, it looks even nicer. It's taller, but look at the top. See how they're designed with like these funnel looking things on top? That's what they look like from the top. <laughs> nice. They both have the same little cylinder to catch all of your dust. The Dyson here on top has the button where you can vacuum with a regular kind of suction or an eco suction and then it has a max. When it's fully charged, if you use that max feature, it only lasts like 15 to 20 minutes. At least that's my experience. This one also has the eco there and then on top, these little lines light up to tell you if it's fully charged or if it's not. It also has a max button. Now I do like that this one has just little buttons instead of this little tab. For the prize Dyson, you don't need to get a little bit more modern. Is this not sexy? Look at the top of it. Why do I think Tesla when I'm feeling this guy? Listen, if you packed this up for me and you didn't tell me this was from Aldi, I'd be like, dang. That's a great vacuum because it feels really nice. Oh my God. Okay, so here's your stick. Is it not sexy? It's like a matte black. Oh, look at this matte black. Oh, this is sexy. Here's the one Dyson gives you and here's theirs. Theirs is a little bit longer. Here's what these ends look like. Those are the little buttons you push to attach. Here is your bracket. This is what you install on the wall so it can hang and charge at the same time. I love this feature. I love having my Dyson up on the wall. Yeah, we have so much stuff. Oh, here's the little bracket that holds these little attachments. Here's the bottom floor nozzle, as they're saying. Is it just like, look, they even have the same colors, the purple and the red, the Dyson, the purple and the red. <laughs> no goddamn shame. I love it, no shame. <laughs> Here's your small nozzle. Ooh, look at that. See, I like to use this for uh, dusting. Do you? Or crumbs. You can do that. Oh, a little one. Dyson didn't give me a little baby one. Here's the Dyson handheld, I guess. This is the same as this. I do love that the one from Daiso, you can move that like that. 
<laughs> That's cool. I like that it's kind of like a transformer. You can move that around. This piece is amazing. When you're trying to get into really small areas, suck it up. And then this, an, an extra piece for later. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think it's another nozzle holder, but I don't know where I would put that, but it's okay. We have enough pieces. You're also gonna get your manual, which comes with a three year warranty. Tell me how long your Dyson warranty is for. You'll be surprised, but see, you can see it right here. They have it in white and in black. Get the black one. There's this guy on YouTube and he does a lot of vacuum tests. I think his whole channel is about vacuums. Vacuum wars? That might be his channel. I don't remember, I apologize, but this is his idea. He took a foggy machine, you guys, and look at me, the mother Yes, I bought a fogging machine just for this test because I had to do it because it's such a great way to test this. He got a fogging machine and then he attached this to like this. He blew air through this area here to see how sealed in this little chamber thing is. Because if you're vacuuming and it's getting pushed through here, is it just not falling out? all the dust is just not getting rotated through the air. And then we know which one's working better and which one is leaking all that dust back into the air. And we're sucking it up into our lungs when we're vacuuming. That's gross. Okay, it's working. I even have lights. This is like a club now. First things first, we will test the Dyson. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the fog that's in there. Is any coming out? Is any coming out? No. Oh, the Dyson's impressive. Nothing's coming out of it. Oh, no. Okay, machine, stop because you're messing up my setup. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I love the LEDs. You guys can see how cool that is. That is an amazing test, Mr. Vacuum Guy. Let's try this guy. Let's see if this one leaks out. The Dyson, impressive. There is nothing coming out except through here. It's sealed tight. Uh-oh. It did kind of blow out from the top, but it's pretty good. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, so look, both of them. I'm gonna turn them on so I can see what happens to it. <laughs> Gone. Why is this experiment so fun? Oh, <laughs> this is like a nightclub. I want to turn this off in a second, but hold on a minute, hold on a minute. One thing I hate about the Dyson is that I have to hold the little, what is this called, trigger? When I let it go, it turns off, right? This one I just noticed, I can let it go. and you win. I don't have to hold that stupid little thing the whole time I'm vacuuming. Dyson, y'all need to take a tip from Dyson. As far as the fog test, they both did excellent, but the Dyson was airtight. There was nothing coming out of this thing except through obviously the front opening, but any of the little cracks around it, no fog was leaking out. This one, like that, just a little bit. Not enough for me to go, oh, it failed that test, it didn't. If the Dyson research and development team is watching or has me on during one of their training classes, let me give you a tip. Steal from the dupe. <laughs> because the little feature where this thing just stays on is everything. They're winning because it stays on. My finger gets tired. This one stays on. I even forget and I keep wanting to hold it. And then I'm like, wait a second. I don't have to keep my finger on the trigger. It's just on. This is very 82 having to hold it down. So this one is on eco and now this one is on eco. Listen to the difference. Here's the dupe. <laughs> if you want it max, you just click there and then it shows you. The Dyson you have to manually, again, 1982 happening right here. Come on guys, that's embarrassing. Daiso went and studied your product and the stuff that people probably complained about. They're like, we're gonna do better. We're gonna modernize it and give it German engineer technology. It is from Germany here <laughs> because Aldi is from Germany. Okay, you just snap that on. And then you just snap this on. I don't know, if this is not sexy to you, I don't know what's sexy. Okay, now my little beat up Dyson, <laughs> same. 
idea. You just snap it on. It's also a matte silver. They're both the same length. The Dyson is smaller than the actual Dyson. The Dyson looks a little bit smaller, more compact, almost like this little cylinder thing on the Dyson is smaller than what we're getting in the Aldi one. This one is way bigger. Now put on your sexiest hooker heels and let's go vacuum the carpet. And as you guys can see, unfortunately, the Dyson won that test. Even though the dupe did a good job, it did not do a great job like the Dyson did. The Dyson didn't fail me that time. Here's another thing that I noticed that I didn't notice before. Another bonus feature that Dyson needs to copy from the dupe. Did y'all notice? This has a light. The Dyson doesn't. Y'all saw that? The Dyson, they charge you an extra $700 for the light. <laughs> you out of your damn mind. Throw in the light for the price that I'm paying. Aldi did it. Aldi figured it all out for $89.99. I'm sure you guys can fit it in the budget for $500 or $400, whatever they are now. Y'all can figure it out, Dyson. I'm gonna say this is an amazing deal. If you can find one, pick it up. My final thoughts, I love my Dyson. It's way overpriced. So if you wanna save yourself $300, Go hunt one of these Aldi dupes down and let me know that you found one. Good luck, it's gonna be a scavenger hunt, but save yourself the $300. The suction is not as strong, but I'm gonna give them points for the little light and for this thing staying on at all times. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Aldi Dyson dupe three Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.